Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 15 box quick hit football mixer. Random team break number one. We got five boxes of Obsidian T-Mall, five boxes of Prism Retail, 2022, 2021 for Obsidian, and five boxes of 2022 Classics Hybrid H2. That's some, some of the potential stuff that we can get out of here. Big thanks to this group. For making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats to the people who won their spots in that 2014 Prism Football Cello Pack break, number 37. All right, and no combos. All 32 NFL teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Two and a five. Seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Got a couple of Matthew down to Corey. And then two and a five, seven times for the football teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And good luck, seventh and final time. After seven, we got the blue horseshoes, the Colts, all the way down to the Eagles. And we got the 2023 home run derby on in the background as well. Vlad Guerrero Jr. up to bat. All right, Matthew, you got the Colts and Titans. James with the Texans, Lance with the Jets, Lorenzo with the Browns, Ryan with the Dolphins, Chris with the Falcons, Tristan with the Giants, Jay with the Saints, James with the Patriots and Cardinals, Chris with the Bengals, Ryan with the Commanders, Lorenzo with the Rams and the Packers, Tristan with the Niners, Nick with the Seahawks, Chris with the Chiefs, Brian with the uh, Broncos, Chris M, Ravens, Vikings, and Bills. Chris with a K, Last Ball Mojo, Lions. James with the Panthers, Kevin with the Bears, James with the Chargers, Chris with the Steelers, Brian with the Cowboys, James with the Buccaneers, Chris with the Raiders, my Raiders, Mark with the Jags, and Corey with the Philadelphia Fly Eagles Fly. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit for the trade window. Remember, just keep in mind that there's, uh, this is 2022, that's 2022, and that Obsidian is 2021. So we got 5, 10, 15 right there. We'll start with Prism, then we'll do the Classics Hybrid, and we'll close out with the 2021 Obsidian T-Mall. All right, so trade window open. And for everyone else, stick around. We'll be right back. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back. No deals were done here in this break. July the 10th. I think we can post another... I think we can post another... Uh, Another break of this as well. So there you go. So big thanks, everybody. We can run this back. And this is a wax party break as well. So at the end of the break, I'll randomize everybody's names and see who gets into the wax party. Now let's start with the base heavier stuff first. Then that that has a little bit fewer cards. And then we'll and that, that has the fewest cards. Maybe potential for the biggest hits too. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Thanks for getting in on it. I guess the quick part was a little deceiving here in the title of the break, but it's definitely a fun break, though. Got the Home Run Derby on the background. Vlad Guerrero Jr. in bonus time, 23, 24, 25, 26. Oh, Mookie Betts got his work cut out for him. So Vlad went no cover. Mookie Betts going going backwards cap, I think. I always like like to see what choices these guys are making. Rex is asking, did I see the video of the giant crack in the roller coaster in North Carolina? No. That's terrifying. Where was this crack? What kind of roller coaster is it? A steel frame roller coaster, a a wood frame roller coaster. How old is it? Are you? Is it a train car? Is it one of the ones where you kind of lie down in it? Is the track on top? Is the track on bottom of the carriage?
some sort of mega coaster. That's to where where was the location of this crack? Rex not not painting a very good picture for me here. When car goes cars go by the crack moves. Is it on the track? Is it on a steel beam? Is it the crack was a full break at the top of a major support post? That's terrifying. It's Khalil Shakir. Oh, that was last week's news. They fixed it already. Rex on top of it. Well, good. I'm glad it's fixed. That sounds terrifying, though. Do all cards ship here? Yes, all cards ship. That's nice. I wonder how many cars went over that thing before they discovered it. We got Ryan Tannehill. Green cracked ice, not numbered. Last week news that's still being passed around. I was gone last week, most most of the week. And I haven't heard of it, too. Didn't hear about it, so this is news to me. As untimely as it may be. I was busy losing money at video poker and blackjack. And All right. Remember, this is a retail box, so Autographs aren't guaranteed here. Are they possible? I don't know. That I don't know. But the two silver prisms we're looking for, and then we want to look for the key rookies and the exclusive black and white um, checker prisms, of course. I was busy reading a golf architecture book by the pool. Got a... Got, got, Nice little summer tan going here. Got to keep that going. Got to look good. Oh, Mookie Betts, what are you doing here? Yeah. Mookie has in-game power. That's what it is. He has in-game power. So, uh, I, I did hear that Elvis died, allegedly. The guy, the guy in that video said they basically ignored him about the crack until he put it on social media. Jeez. It's apparently Jan is saying it's called the Fury 325, listed as a Giga coaster because it's 325 feet tall at its max. Is that a is that really a class of coaster? Cohen was talking about when he knows he's about to die, he's going to have his people make sure no one else is going to die. So that way he has a day of mourning all for himself. I don't, know, I don't know if he has the power to do that. Does Vlad Jr. have a little copper fit? Little waistband? Shout out copper fit. I know. That copper fit's money... Copper fit sponsorship. Yeah, seriously. Let's 
Jalen Peter, green cracked ice. Let's see some of the big rookie names here. It's Traylon Burks, he's pretty solid, right? Titan, that's gonna go to Matthew. We got Trevor Lawrence, Prism Break. It's pretty cool. Mookie bets only 11 homers, but. And we got a Calvin Austin, the third rookie silver autograph. Yeah, autographs are possible, not guaranteed a box, but there's one that'll be for Chris and the Steelers. Won that team in one of the fillers. So there's another coaster that malfunctioned and held riders upside down for four hours? Jeez. I should have known there was a coasterpedia, by the way. I don't know when the last time I've been on a roller coaster. All right, next box. Cedar Point is apparently the best place for coasters and Carl, Chris agrees. Rex doesn't know how someone could survive upside down for four hours. Yeah, how do you, how do you survive? have blood rushing to your head for four hours. Yeah, I mean, if I... Welcome to another episode of Joe MD. Uh, for entertainment purposes only, I'm not really a medical doctor. But welcome to Joe MD. What would the effects be of that? Of the blood rushing to your head and staying in that location for for an extended period of time. I don't know. Your feet are fine. Right, Rex? Blood rushes down to the feet all day long. It seems to be okay. All right, let's see what hometown favorite Julio Rodriguez can do in the home run derby. He's just hitting dingers in this park, right? And there's Jimmy G, black and white. With my Raiders now. Hopefully he stays healthy. Got Joe Burrow, green cracked ice. Another autograph? No, that's Tyler Cohn. Brock Purdy, there you go. That's the kind of stuff we want to see. That's going to go to Tristan and the Niners. Maybe we can find some silver or some other parallels of his. Maybe one of these black and white checkered parallels would be awesome. Rex is no doctor, but he's suggesting that the feet are a little different from the uh, the head. Fair enough. Well, I mean, no one died, right, Rex? So you would assume that that you can survive. You keep surprising how much the uh, how how much uh, stress the human body can actually handle.
All right. Another prison box. Gilo remembers when the All-Star game was in KC. Robinson Cano said he was going to pick Billy Butler in the Derby team, and he didn't do it. So the Royals had no representation in the Derby. In Kansas City? Hmm. They should have tried. I would have loved to see Billy, Billy Butler. Getting some, did you get a hemorrhage or asphyxiation from being upside down for too long? Upside down, you can't breathe? Maybe the hemorrhaging. It seems like the we would have heard, right, on the news if those those people upside down for four hours had some sort of major medical condition, but but no, right? So you can survive. I don't know how, but you, you do. Not as bad as you think. Oh, he's already got 14. He's got both bonuses. And it's still a minute 35 left. Because you have both good and bad blood in your head? I think blood in my head is all it's all good, isn't it? Does the body make a distinction? Not sure if I'm trusting Jan's medical advice here. Jan MD. Maybe maybe more malpractice. Seattle's so beautiful, you love that. I've never been, Gilo, but this makes me want to go. What do we think about the hats? Do we like the All-Star Game hats this year? I think they look kind of cool. Maybe not, I don't know if I'm gonna buy one, but kind of like the, the, the design. It's just cruising in this home run derby. Devonta Smith. This is Sam Howell for uh, Ryan and the Commanders. Got here. Oh, oh, no. I was hoping maybe autograph. Is that 29? He still has 30 seconds too. Yeah, he's got an extra minute. I mean, it'd be a hell of a show if Pete Alonso beat that number, though. Final prism box, and then we'll get into classics, and we'll finish with obsidian.
Great wrist rotation as well from uh, Julio Rodriguez. Watch those wrists, ladies and gentlemen. Great follow through. Got a nice swing, Julio Rodriguez. I think someone someone let me know. I'm pretty sure the stadium is right downtown next to the Seahawks stadium, right? Jahan Dotson, black and white checker for Ryan and the Commanders. Some nice moments last year. They're close, Chilo says. What's Chris Berman doing? He doesn't do this anymore? Back, 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 back. There's some fireworks, rookie Kenny Pickett. Wow, he's got 41 with eight seconds left. Forty-one. Woo! He's fired up. We got another uh, new recruits green cracked ice insert Kenny Pickett as we're start, starting to starting to see some more picket here for, for Carl Chris and the Steelers No, I'm good, sir. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's it for the Prism Retail. I got a few nice things popping out of there. Now, what can we expect from Classics Hybrid? Find six numbered parallels. All right. Classic Clashes inserts, Optochrome Parallel, exclusive Purple Autograph Parallels. All right, another five, good luck. I think Pete Alonzo had to change pitchers. I don't know who was originally pitching for him. I think his dad did it one year, but... But I think he has to use a new pitcher.
We got Warren Sapp to 99. Malik Willis, rookie card for the Titans. What are they going to do with Malik Willis? Warren Sapp goes to the Bucks. That'll be for James. John Elway to 50. We'll have a... Uh, We'll have, uh, we'll do, oh, that's the same team. I feel like they could be different. We'll see. Got out of 25, Jamal Lewis. Some cracked ice, Legends cracked ice for Chris and the Ravens, Chris M. Christian McCaffrey to 125 for Carolina. That'll be for James. We got Shannon Sharp to 99. We got Kayvon Thibodeau to 125 for the Giants. That'll be for Tristan and the Giants. And um, Brian, Brian K has Denver. So Mac Jones to 75. And we got some George Pickens, nice uh, rookie, Gold Hyper, numbered 17 out of 99. That's for Carl, Chris, and the Steelers. Mac Jones will go to James and the Patriots. Got Classic Big Gangs, Tyquan Thornton to 99, also for James and the Pats. And another box. <laughs> yeah, Alonzo should just get uh, any Royals pitchers because they're always giving up dingers. He's only at 11 with a minute left. I don't think this is happening, folks. I was kind of be a cool story to see Pete Alonso tie Ken Griffey Jr. for most home run derby wins. Three. Yeah. Who did you, who did you think was pitching to the players? Yeah, you can have anyone you want. Have your dad, your old high school coach I've seen, college coaches, teammates, friend on another team. Another box. There's a Sam Howell to 99. Ryan Heinz with the Commanders. Got our first Desmond Ritter rookie card here. And there's a big story on ESPN.com's football section. With the headline, Falcons QB Desmond Ritter has been quietly preparing for this moment. That's going to go to uh, Chris and the Falcons with a spot he bought straight up. DeMarcus Ware to 25 for the Cowboys. Jalo's hot take. Is that a hot take? I think the Commanders will still be bad. But we want Sam Howell to be good. That'll be good for the hobby. 
Here's uh, Keenan Allen for the Bolts. That's going to go to James and the Chargers. Eight out of 50. Got Trayvon Walker to the ja for the Jaguars. Tyreek Hill to 99. Tyreek Hill is going to go to Ryan G and the Dolphins. And Trayvon Walker for the Jaguars, Mark Russo. And a Mac Jones to 125 for the Patriots. That's going to go to James. You know it would be fun for the All-Star game? Have a prospects game right before it. Have the top 64 prospects at that time play a game. So top 32 in each league. They do that. It's called the Futures game. Which is usually more enjoyable than the actual All-Star game, I think. There's Matthew Savage to 99. I mean, he's got a golden treasure. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Out of finest? Out of finest. Ooh. Ooh. Chris, on it, have you opened it yet? Uh, first pack. First pack. Wow. So on the Instagram stream, at Jaspies Breaks, Instagram Live, Chris just pulled a uh, golden treasure, which means all the cards are gold. So you can check it out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, both rosters have pretty much the top prospects that are allowed to participate in, in it. I mean, part of the reason, I mean, you can't just force the top X amount of prospects to go in. Most teams don't want their, their, you know, their players to go do an exhibition game in the middle of a season. But yeah, I'm looking at the rosters right now. They had Harry Ford, Tyler Soderstrom, Edgar Cuero, Jackson Holiday, Marcelo Meyer, uh, Caminero w was allowed to play, Heston Kirkstad, Drew Gilbert, Spencer Jones, Clayton Beater was in there. That's for the AL National League. Dalton Rushing, Jefferson Cuero, Jordan Lawler, Jackson Merrill, Noel V. Marte. These are these are pretty pretty prospects that are pretty much up there. Jackson Curio, Pete Crow Armstrong, Justin Crawford, Mika Bell. You know, Kyle Harrison, et cetera, et cetera. And I think, according to this SportingNews.com article that lists the team, they also list the MLB pipeline rank. And yeah, the highest is 98, and the lowest is number three, which is Jackson Curio. No, they got Jackson Holiday. He's number one. He was on the AL side. So yeah, pretty much the one through 100 top prospects. There are a handful of players not ranked. I think that's just to fill out rosters. So yeah, they did that. Uh, I forget. I forgot who won. They do have that game like the night before. I think it was yesterday. I think I missed it though. Sunday maybe. There's Hassan Haskins to seventy-five. There's Justin Fields to 
There's Dallas Goddard to 99. And of course, I think you can't just really grab the top X amount of players, right? Because what if they're all outfielders or something like that? We kind of have to build a roster for that Futures game. But, but it's a good idea, Rex. So good they already do it. There's Sam Howell to 125. You might be in Vegas later this year, G-Lo says. Might catch a Chiefs Raiders game. Oh yeah, G-Lo, didn't you mention uh, the Madison Square Garden Sphere? I was uh, I was just in Vegas with some family, but I stayed at the Wynn, and uh, my room overlooked the the famous golf course there. And uh, if I put my head against the window and look look out there, there was a uh, I could see the sphere. Terrifying. Looks like it could summon demons. The Isaiah Spiller to ten. <clears throat> That's for the Chargers. That's going to go to James. And we got a 6 out of 10 rookie wide receiver for the Detroit Lions, Jameson Williams. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. That's going to go to Chris and the Lions. We got Monday Night Heroes to 50. It, it is like the new eye of Sauron. In fact, they're, they're, they do put like an eye on that thing at some point. That's very creepy. All right, this will actually represent the left-right randomizer there. We'll do for that. A couple boxes to go. What's on the inside? A concert venue with a 360 degree display. It's sort of like a, uh, a fancy planetarium in a way. I think some of the early shows there are gonna be sort of science related. I think U2 has a set of concerts there as well. I'll take, I'll take you know, a look at the, a look there, take advantage of that multimedia thing. But yeah, it's a performance venue. If I can show you a picture of it. There it is from the room. It's a little bit of a closer shot right there. Looks like a planet. They can do other things. They made one, one of them look like, I, for, I missed my chance to take a picture of it, but there's one that looked like it was like uh, T-1000, a little liquid nitrogen action happening there. There's a Romo and Witten to 99. Uh, some of them were kind of terrifying. Some of them were kind of cool. I'll bet like in the, during Christmas time, they could probably make that look like a snow globe. Michael Pittman Jr. to 99. That'll be for the Colts, Matthew Shira, and this will be for Brian with a Y. That'll go to Dallas. Um, they made it look like a basketball at one point, and it was like, you know, it's kind of advertising. It's probably a great advertising thing too, but they uh, they they made it a basketball, and it was just like NBA 2K Summer League. 
You know, there's Miles Sanders for the Eagles. Corey. So yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure once it only they only just started lighting that up on like July 4th, I think. Apparently, there's all the all. I think there still is all this like traffic around there. So Jan saying apparently they're gonna have hologram superstars from Japan perform in there as well. Interesting. Yeah, it might take a minute or two before like before you know touring musicians kind of figure out how to like make full use of make full use of that. But it's gonna be kind of awesome, I think, once they kind of figure that out and see more bands and DJs and other acts like other artists like performing there I think it would be pretty cool got Mahomes to 99 you went to Vegas a lot when you were younger yeah it, I mean so when's the last time you've been Mahomes goes to Chris. Fellas Jones Jr. goes to Kevin and the Bears. Derek Carr goes to the Raiders. That'll be for Chris Parent. Terry Bradshaw will go to Chris H. And John Mechie will go to James and the Texans. All right, final box. Our final box of Classics Hybrid. And then we'll finish off with 2020. We'll go back a year. And we'll do 2021 Obsidian Football Team All Edition. Twenty oh, twenty thirteen is not that long ago. Oh, I have no idea who, who that Japanese artist is, but now I'll take your word for it, Jan. But 2013 was the last time, 10 years ago now. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty underrated town. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely a lot more family friendly. You know, like mo most of the casinos on the strip, you, you can't really, you can't smoke at the tables or anything like that. So they've, they've really kind of made it that. She's okay, cool, Jan. Thank you. Appreciate that. There's Jameis Winston to 75. There's a lot, lot more entertainment-y things to do. You know, there's... I mean, every every resort casino on the Strip essentially is a mall. There's a lot of shopping you can do. A lot of great food. Probably, probably the best food town in the world, I want to say. Oh, man. I guess we'll just go left-right on that. Because that's top bottom, that's left right. Yeah. All right, there's Lawrence Taylor to 50 for the Giants. Yeah, the Mafia Museum. But believe it or not, when I go to Vegas a number of times a year, I've not been, not carved out time for the Mafia Museum, but I heard that it's pretty good. I mean, they'll have a lot, you'll have a lot of sports excuses now, now that uh, the NFL is there. You have summer league there, obviously. You know, once baseball is there, you can chase, you can visit Vegas to see your baseball team play there. Obviously, a ton of concerts there, a lot of great clubs. Mandalay Bay has a great shark aquarium. Excellent aquarium there. All the all the hot clubs are still still rocking.
What hotel should you stay at? I mean, what kind of experience do you want? What will you be doing? Oh, I guess if you're going to to like a Chiefs Raiders game, if that's later this year, you should probably just stay close to the stadium, Mandalay Bay. Pretty nice. I think there is a walkway that goes right out to the street that takes that takes you over the bridge to to the Raiders game. That's a pretty nice place to stay too. Steve Young to 99. Yeah, anything's going to be pricey, especially Final Five, especially uh, on game weekends. I mean, I suppose you can just stay further away from this trip, but then that, you know, then that means you're ending up probably paying what you would pay for the extra room in like ride share services so that all right Stefan Gilmore DeAndre Swift Diami Brown Terrace Marshall Jr. and Devontae Adams to 26 so these red parallels are the I believe are the exclusive to this set Terrace Marshall Jr. was numbered to 25. Carolina James. Yeah, red flood parallels. That's the exclusive in this team all set. Oh, if you're going for a work trip, yeah, work to pay for it. Let's see how they let's see how well they treat their employees. Big Ben. Robinson. Got DeAndre Swift orange and we got a rookie red Hunter Long to 26. There's a haunted museum. A Jack of Working Suicide Van? That's creepy. It's DeAndre Swift to 75. And cursed items as well. And maybe I, I, I don't want to go there. I don't want, I don't want any curse to befall me. Oh, AWS holds their con conferences there. Where's the conference? There's Travis Etienne, and the red flood is rookie Justin Fields. All right, that's not bad. Hopefully he has a big season in him this year. Kevin with the Bears won that spot in the filler. And that is 16 out of 26. Travis Etienne will go to Mark Russo and the Jags. That's 6 out of 75. Next box. Why well, they make you sign a waiver before entering the museum? Yeah, I will not be signing that waiver, Chan. I will not, not want to be... Don't want to run the risk of being cursed. Hunter Long, is that, a, is that going to be an autograph? It's flipped around. It is an autograph. It's Jake Funk to five. We want the funk. Gotta have that funk. Oh, we want the funk. Oh, no, it's three out of six. Just one off, one off the train whistle. We want the funk. That still goes to Lorenzo and the Rams. And we got Ramondre Stevenson. And we've got a Minka Fitzpatrick Red, 13 out of 26. All right, 15th and final box. Are they going to be in the sphere? Pretty awesome, Gilo. That'd be pretty cool. You'd say at the wind then. Or the Venetian. Alright, there's Rashad Bateman to 100 for the Ravens. Chris M. And the last one, Patrick Mahomes. Red Flood to 26. 
14 out of 26. Nice. I guess just one off the jersey number. All right. There you go, gang. Not a bad break at all. Always cool seeing some of the the retail sets and all that. Chance to chase some different parallels. Also, a chance at a wax party invite. So let's uh, go back to this list right here. Let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 32. We'll get your names in there. Let's also grab a second list. And we'll do this one first for the left-right randomizer on those Obsidian cards and Classics cards, or no, mostly Classics. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's roll it, randomize both lists, four and a three, seven times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Left side teams will get those uh, dual player cards. Four and a three, seven times for the Wax Party invite. Fingers crossed, good luck. This is the big one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, fingers crossed. Good luck, good luck, good luck. But first of all, sad times for James. You got very close there, James, but just not quite. But I appreciate you trying. Happy times, though, for, for Lance. Lance, I don't think I called your name out all break. All card chips, so you, you must be getting something. But after seven, you're getting the big thing from this break. That's the Wax Party Invite. Details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Congrats, Lance. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time for the next break. Oh, I should do a recap. It's kind of a longer break. And we'll run this back, too. I'll post another one of these. Could, could be some really big parallel potential here. If you get those right parallels right here, since these are like retail exclusive stuff or hybrids or whatever as well, there could be some different things that could pop out of there. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.